no, 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 no. The, uh, it's easier to make a smaller mirror more perfect. Mm -hmm. So your margin of error, whenever you're looking at fine planetary detail and stuff like that, pretty, uh, Somebody around here might want one. They may want one next door. Yeah, they might. What they cost? Twelve grand. This one? Yeah. I was going to say. I was this one would be about thirty with all the options. That's what so. bugs me about it. it. It's worth about as much as the house, basically. Yeah, it's worth more than my truck, two cars, trailer, <laughs> and my double white. Even the, even if it looks like a bunch of wood put together uh, with a couple of. Oh, uh, here I didn't get to show you this. This is. I'll turn it for you so you can see it. This. Is the hardest thing to make. Uh -huh. This is the, the trust? primary mirror cell. So okay. I use a finite computer analysis program, and it shows me where I need to put each of those individual points. Hmm. And so from there, we weld up a steel frame that reinforces the box, and then this mirror floats on these points. And so whenever you initially align the optics at the beginning of the night, these three bolts move these three big triangles up and down, which tilts that primary mirror. Mm -hmm. This sling is on two linear bearings. The linear bearings are the thing I get from China. What The reason I do that, I'm the only one who does that, is it supports the mirror at its edge. And what happens is most people just fix those to two points that don't move. And as soon as you move one of these collimation bolts, the edge of that mirror is no longer in that same plane, obviously. What happens is it basically bends the mirror. Mm -hmm. It causes what's called astigmatism. Mm -hmm. That is by far the hardest part of it to build, hmm. is the, the mirror cell. Interesting. And we Very sell those also to uh, people who like to build their own telescopes. We sell the mirror cell.